In 2025, the process of creation of consistent characters changed significantly. So in this video, I'm going to show you few different methods and services for character creation plus additional options. How to change facial expressions without generating completely new images. How to replace clothing, fix hands, and more. You've probably heard about the first method I'm going to show you. If you use some stable diffusion models for image generation, for example in Leonardo AI, or in any other generator, you can create character by adding character's name to your prompts. For example, all of these models except Flux and Phoenix are based on stable diffusion. I'll select Leonardo Lighting. Style will be unprocessed, for example. I'll paste my prompt to the prompt area. Here is name of the character and brief description of her appearance. The name affects the face features creating unique character's appearance. Each name will create different face, and you can't predict how exact name will affect the appearance of the generated person. Here's why additional character description is needed. Now, I changed location, time of the day, and specified that she is happy. The person is still the same. Nice. And this time I'll make her hair pink, and her mouth should be opened. Of course, not all of the images will provide 100% consistent result, but the woman on these two images looks pretty similar to what we saw in previous generations. Okay, I'll change character's name to Sophie Ford, but all other prompt details will be the same. This person is completely different. It's better to use the same model and preset for one character because of model and preset style differences. For example, I'll select dynamic style preset. Only one image looks similar to previous generations. In such cases, you can increase prior priority of some words in your prompt by adding parentheses. I think the result became better after prioritizing the character's name. The next option is ImageFX AI Image Generator from Google, which allows you to create ultra-realistic characters but in a little bit different way. The interface is pretty similar to other generators. In prompt area, you can enter description of your character, location, style, etc. Here are additional predefined styles. In the advanced settings, you can see seed value. You can lock it like in other generators, but here it will work different from other similar services. Instead of getting identical images in different generations, you'll get set of images with pretty similar elements including character. I'll leave seed value locked, but aspect ratio and prompt will be changed. I want to make images more cinematic. Style and aspect ratio different, but character is the same. Okay, if I change location and make the man smile, character still looks pretty similar to previous generations. Of course, you can try different styles, just describe them in the prompt. But there are some problems can appear with female characters because Image FX is pretty strictly censored. Even if your prompt doesn't include some inappropriate things or references to children, you can get errors and receive less than four images in one generation or generation can be canceled for no reason. And you can edit images with squared aspect ratio. For some reason, images with different dimensions are not available for editing. I want to change the clothing of this character, so I brushed over the corresponding area of the picture and used prompt to describe the result I want to get. All the images are really good, and I want to add sunglasses. In general, image FX creates ultra-high quality pictures of any style, and in most cases you won't find artifacts or imperfections in the generated images, which are typical for majority of other services. Another way to create consistent characters is to use character or face reference options. In almost all of the image generators, this option is paid only so you can't even try and see how it works. But Piclaman AI Image Generator allows you to use this tool for free. Character reference can be useful if you already have good picture with your character. This tool will copy the face from uploaded image and add it to the generated images. You can try few different models for image generation, different strength values and change. Reference picture if you aren't happy with the result. Character ref tool, copies face, and an expression if you don't specify something else in the prompt. Of course, the quality of the generated images is not really high. I added another image as reference. Prompt and other settings are the same, much better this time. As you can see, clothing and hairstyle or hair color on the generated images don't match the original picture, so you have to specify all these things in your prompt. And I'll use Piclaman Art Model instead of Flux. Sometimes you may want to change eyes direction, add smile, open mouth, or turn head of the character a little bit. Dashtoon Studio has the best face expression editor I've ever used. Dashtoon is service for creating comics. You have to create new project, and then you'll be able to access editor. Add your image, and here you have 150 free initial credits. Each change of some adjustment will cost one credit. Click on gaze and expression, and wait for your character to be recognized. On the right sidebar, you can see and change different settings. Here are head position settings. Be careful, because because extreme changes of some adjustments can create unnecessary artifacts and little bit creepy results. Use reset button to undo all the changes. Here are eyes adjustments. You can change eyes direction, open or close them, raise or lower eyebrows or add wink, and mouth adjustments. Here are open, circular, widen mouth settings. You can make your character smile, 
In the History tab, you'll see each change you made a separate image. For some reason now, only one image is displayed. You can also see previous versions of your image using these arrows. Don't forget about Image Reference option. As you can see, it is better not to use extreme head turns. I'll reset changes and use some other image. Head position matches the reference, but eyes direction should be set manually in this case. Recraft AI is powerful tool for editing your images. You can use for free. After opening project, add your image. You can upload up to three images per day on free account. First thing I want to show you is frame, which can be used for image expansion. Place the image inside frame, then select frame. There are lots of existing models of different styles, but you can create your own style based on your images. You have to select image or images as references for new style. I'll upload additional picture as reference. Here is automatically detected style category, but you can change it manually if you want. Custom style is ready. Now I can describe what I want to see in the generated area of the image. On the free account, you'll get 50 daily credits while one generated image costs one credit. Nice, you can expand images vertically too. Just change dimensions of the frame. Don't forget to select the frame after placing image inside it. I didn't specify which type of clothing I want to see, so I got this result. So I'll select this image and press backspace to remove it from canvas. And this time I'll specify that the girl is in jeans jacket and cargo pants. By the way, the size of the frame doesn't allow to us to see the pants. Background remove option is very good here. If you didn't get result, you you wanted, you can undo previous action to make second attempt, and the result can be a little bit different. Change background tool allows you to replace current background with generated one from your prompt. It doesn't always happen, but in this case, background matches the girl perfectly. But you can see that shadows on her face and hair became too dark compared to the original picture. You'll see how to fix this a little bit later. Repaint is for selecting parts of the image and editing them like an image FX. I'll try to change current clothing to sundress, but here you have to specify that girl is wearing some clothing to avoid such results. Much better. Click here to clear selection. Second image is worse because the, the head is obviously too big for this body. Okay, I'll add some black hat. So I selected the area around the head of the character and entered corresponding prompt. Second image is just perfect. Eraser tool is good for removing objects from background. Brush over some area and click erase. But if I'll try to erase this part of dress, it won't disappear completely, even with second attempt. Okay, I'll undo my previous actions. If I erase the hat, it will disappear, of course, but the part of the head will disappear too. So, as I said, it's perfect for clearing background or erasing objects around the character. Go to History tab to see all the generated images. By clicking on each of them, you'll see the generation info. Save it to your device, delete it, etc. And what about fixing two dark areas on the generated images? You can use Photoshop or this free online Photoshop clone called Photopia. Add the generated image and original one. I'll change size of the original picture and make it semi-transparent to make the head size match on both images. When it's done, I'll bring the opacity back to 100% and then add raster mask to the original image, invert it using Control i so the image will disappear. Then I'll use brush with zero hardness. And here, white color should be set as main. Raster mask should be selected. Now I'll make visible only the face from the original picture. Unfortunately, I brushed over the border of the image so the edge became visible too. So now I'll switch colors here. The brush will paint with black color. This means that if I brush over the areas I made visible with white color, they become transparent. Here is how it looked before editing. When you're happy with the result, you can save the project as PSD file or export image. Finally, I want to show you how to fix hands of your character. You can do this in Recraft AI. For example, I have this image. I'll just use Repaint option. Prompt will be waving hand. The more detailed prompt, the better result you'll have. Sometimes I'll have to make few attempts to get exactly what you want. This was pretty easy case, but I have second image. I'll try to fix it. Prompt will be as simple as possible. First variation is almost perfect as for me. Second one is spoiled because prompt should be more detailed. 